Hey, you guys, this is Killing Gay 6, AK Raymond. Now that we're in my predicting couch, let's predict. I gotta tell you guys, this was, that was one of the craziest videos ever. It gets crazier and crazier by the minute. Now, guys, as you guys can tell by the title, my cho the choice is either tell the truth or comment to tell a lie. Now, guys, my, my choice for today is tell the truth. Now, guys, you guys remember what happened in this video on how everything went down. We saw how Michael was helping Isaac by doing a mission so he could be able to level up and get some XP so he can gain a level and get a symbol on his wrist. Or either one of the wrists, you know what I mean. But Isaac felt like he felt like still everything was a game. He said, "This is like Grand Theft Auto. Go run over this person. Do this and that." And he said, "No, that's, that's not how life works. That's not how you. That's not how you live your life." We saw. We all see how um, Isaac was really taken this world. He thinks it, it is. He, to to me. I have a feeling that it may be a game, but I think it's more than just a game. I think this is life and death. This is exactly what we're seeing right here, guys. That To me, that's what I believe. That's what we're watching. A virtual escape. You know, being in an old, another world, a virtual world, where you can do whatever you want. But it, it, there's always a lesson. There's always a price to pay when you make those choices. Now, when... Michael was talking to Isaac about what went down. He actually talked to Arachnid. He said he mentioned about Arachnid and Abraham. Michael noticed that, wait a minute, how do you know that name? Because I didn't tell you that. And Isaac was trying to play dumb, saying, no, I didn't know, because I heard about it. I heard about him and it, from you. He said, yes, but I didn't tell you, tell you his name was Abraham. So how did you know that his name was Abraham? And that kind of caught him in a lie right there. But we saw how Isaac was playing down, playing the victim, saying, look, I'm terrible. Look, I don't care. My life's not doing so well. So I don't want to talk, do this. I, I'm having a life here that I don't like. I feel like I can't do this. I feel like I want to go to college, but I can't do it. I don't feel like I'm, that's me for me right there. And then he walked off. He went to Long Bags. Long story short, he bought some you-know-what. But anyway... Enough of that. Let's talk about the mission that happened right there and the reason why I made the choice of tell the truth. Arachnid still didn't trust Isaac at all. And you kind of see how Isaac was playing like the tough guy and everything. And, Ab and Abraham, a.k.a. the Arachnid, kept saying, you think everything's a joke, do you? Let's do this. We've seen how they went to Aunt Melissa's house, a.k.a. Solomon's house, and... Seeing how stupid Isaac was running toward the front door where a, a light was actually shining toward the door where he could see a shadow. Seeing how he was reckless and everything, even when the sensory light came on and he grabbed a rake, hoping to bash somebody with a rake. It's like, there's a guy made of leaves, I'm going to go rake him up and all that stuff. <laughs> but after that, he got caught and we saw how he was talking to Solomon saying, Oh, you're a gamer. I can help you level up. See? He's got two question marks on his wrist. And then he gave him some XP. Now, if, if my mind serves me well, it was either four or five bags, either one of those bags that came out. But to me, he wants him to give it to keep one and give it to three other people or four other people. But I have a feeling that Isaac was going to keep it all for himself. And not going to help him out do this mission and such so he could get more and more XP. But as you guys may have remembered, Arachnid was able to hear every single conversation. But he did not know that he gave him XP. Those bags. And that's what led to this little problem right here to tell the truth or tell a lie. When he looked at him and said, did he give you something? Are you working for him? Tell, the, tell me. What is it that you have to tell me? So my choice for this... Uh, predicament is tell the truth now the reason why guys if you guys may have remembered in that video that i need to gain your trust i need to see if i can trust you so he has to tell him the truth because if he tells him a lie i think he'll search him and he will find out that he does have xp from solomon and he's going to take it the wrong way so if he tells him the truth I, this is how I think it's going to go down. And when he asked him, we'll see Isaac like, okay, look, look, he gave me some XP. He wanted me to give it some people, but no, I'm not going to do that. I want you to trust me, and I want to earn your respect, so I'm going to give you the XP here. 
I want you to have it. I want you to trust me. That's where I'm going to believe that's what's going to happen. But between you and me, guys, I think I know what's going to happen here. If, like I said, if my mind serves me, it was either it was either the four, uh, three bags, four bags, or five bags. Either one of the either one of those number the number of bags that Solomon gave him, he'll keep one, and he'll give the others to Arachnid. This he'll say here. I want you to have it. I want you to trust me. I'm giving it to you. Because I've never met him. I want you to have it. And that and maybe that will show right there that Arachnid can trust him. He said, okay. Th all right, thanks. He said, sorry, I thought you, I thought, you, and he'll reach out for him and said, sorry, man. Lift him up. He says, I thought you were working for Solomon. And they'll go home. And we'll see Isaac going back to his world. But he's going to think about that advice that Solomon told him about the VR. There is a switch. They said you can't turn it on. But he, I bet he'll turn it on, and we're going to see what re, what's really going to be there. Now, to me, I don't know if that, if, we're, if we're going to see anything amazing or something uh, if he does do that. I think there's going to be something there that Isaac will not be able to handle. But to me, Isaac's always uh, always up to doing something amazing he wants to level up he wants to take off take out this overlord and get that wish now everyone's saying that he maybe he'll want to wish to get out of this place get out of that world and i think we're going to see that soon maybe we'll finally find out how isaac got to our world in the first place jesse's world and how jesse got into the mirror world we're going to see that soon i'm hoping so guys my choice is tell the truth and like I said, that's my prediction. I bet he'll tell me, look, I did talk to Solomon. Solomon gave me these XP. He wanted me to hand it out to people. But if I want you to trust me. I'm going to give them to you. That's what that's, I believe is going to happen. I think we'll see more of the VR world. Maybe he, we'll see more of his mom. Now, enough with the prediction. Now it's time for another reason. Now, you guys kind of seen how Isaac was act acting this way, you know, acting like his life was going down the drain and everything. And he feels like, oh, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I can do whatever I want. I'm just going to do this and live my life the way I want it to be. So I watched an inspirational video that I saw on Snapchat and also on YouTube that really hit home. I want you guys to know something. Now, this teacher was teaching the students about life. They said, you know what, kids? Life is going to give you uh, choices. There's going to be challenges and obstacles, and it's up to you to handle it. So this is what he did. He poured a glass of water, and he held it like this. Now, bear with me, guys. I want you to, to understand what this means. So he asked the kids, so guys, how much do you think this weighs? One student says, eight ounces. The next student says, 12 ounces? And the third student says 16 ounces. But the teacher tells him the answer is nothing. It doesn't matter how much this thing weighs. It depends on how long you can hold on to it. As you can see, guys, it's easy to hold something, a glass of water really easily. You hold it for a minute, nothing happens. If you hold it for an hour, your arm starts to hurt. But if you hold it all day... Your arm will be paralyzed. Your arm will be so much in pain or so numb that you won't be able to handle anything. You won't be able to do anything with this arm. And that, that guys, it talks about stress. Now, stress is the one thing that people have in, in our lot in everyone's lives. That they, they it brings them down. They they make them do things that they don't want to do, or they make them feel like they're nothing. So think of stress as this glass of water. Every minute you hold on to it, nothing happens. If you hold it for an hour, it'll start to creep in inside your mind. But if you hold it all day, your mind's going to be so paralyzed and numb, it's going to make you think that you can't make the right choices. It'll give you choices and you're just going just gonna to take it. You're going to say, I can do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm meant for this. I'm not meant to do nothing. So the answer, guys, to this question, put the glass down. You want to know why? 
Because stress is the one thing you can't hold on to. Like I said, if you keep holding on to it, it's never going to go away. And the more you think about it, the more doubt you're going to put onto yourself. Make you more depressed. Make you more self-conscious for yourself. Make you believe that you, you're not capable of wanting more. That's what it means. When I watched that video, that was really amazing. And it really hit home for everybody. It hit home for me. That tells that shows a lot right there that when you hold on to something like that, even though it doesn't matter how much you how much it weighs, it depends on how long you can hold on to it. So that kind of tells me right there that that's a big deal. Now we all see that with Isaac. We've seen how Isaac how depressed he really was when his mom left, and that was sad. We saw the good times. We saw how they're saying me and dad are doing this were not getting along, and we saw how his mom just walked away and drove away. We saw how Isaac was really upset when he saw them argue and saw her leave. You know, guys, Isaac and Psycho Kid have a lot in common. They saw how their moms just left their lives. How Psycho Kids, well, that was rough. And But the how Isaac's mom left, well, we don't know much of, ex of exactly what actually happened or what they were arguing about. But all I know, guys, is that Isaac really had it rough. And I think that, to me, he's upset that his mom's gone, but he didn't do like stop her or intervene or say something. That's why he's pushing people away. That's why he's doing the things that he does. And that's why he feels like he doesn't need anybody. But sooner or later, guys, when you're all alone, you're going to have no one to blame but yourself. You're not going to blame a light. You're not going to blame a wall. You're not going to blame a couch. When you're all alone, when because all the people that you that loved you and cared for you, you've pushed away, they're not going to be there anymore, and you're going to be all alone. And that's what I think. That's what Isaac's going through right now. The more he keeps pushing them away, the more he'll real. The more he'll start to realize that maybe they they don't really care about me at all because they didn't they weren't there for me. Despite that, they keep pushing away. If they really love him like they say they do, they keep on trying to get through to him. And that's what we're seeing with Isaac. Now, for like I said, with the moms, when he sees his mom in the virtual world, and now we saw Adam impersonating her, it's weird, it's weird how he gets defensive when he says, oh, this was an emotional tutorial, seeing how you can handle it. And he was so upset, and he said that you're emotional. And, he, and Isaac's saying, no, I'm not. <laughs> Judging how the way he acted, guys, he was emotional. He's holding on to that emotion. But it's not good to have to keep holding on to something. you got to let it go or put it down. Either way. So, guys, those, that's my prediction. And that's my uh, little, uh, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, advice or a little description of what we're seeing with Isaac. I, I'm, I always love giving my opinions on everything. So despite all that, guys, I got to stop saying that. My answer is tell the truth. If he wants to gain Arachnus trust, he'll give him the XP that Solomon gave him and convince him that – and tell him that I pl I was going to – I pretended I was going to go work for him. But in order to gain your trust, I'm going to give you the XP that he gave me. That's what I'm going to believe what's going to happen. And then we'll see him try to turn that button on, his VR, and we're going to see exactly what's going to t where it's going to take him. And after that, that was my little opinion on how Isaac's really handling the situation with things, um, what I'm seeing. Hey, guys, I always love giving my opinions on everything, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my prediction video. And I hope you guys made the same choice that I did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions, more gameplay. Drop some likes on this video if you enjoyed this. Whew. This was rough. This was really hard to watch. Oh, and by the way, I can't believe what happened to Swift again for the second time. <laughs> that was funny. But uh, what can I say? It's Swift. Come on. Oh, well, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my prediction video. Give me your opinions on what you believe will happen or what your choices were. So my choice is tell the truth. I, so I can't wait to see what happens next. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget 
Stay positive, guys.